lot better every day. And that's the exciting thing is we're a thousand miles ahead of where we were in the spring, and, and you can see it incremental uh, progress every day. How do you feel about, uh, I know Denzel, it seems like, is, is a guy that's been around and is going to be in one of those spots. But at the other safety spot, where do, where do things shape up right now? Well, I feel like Wayne Jones is, is kind of emerged in that spot a little bit. You know, there's still a competition to be had. But I would think if you asked anybody on the defense, I think if, I mean, who's playing fast and who's got a great grasp of what we're doing, I think to a man, they'd say Wayne. Um, Jonathan Alexander's done a fantastic job. Jerron McPherson's done a fantastic job. Uh, JD, has done, John Durham's done a great job. I mean, I'm, I'm Ross Elder. I mean, I could go on and on. I'm very pleased with the effort and uh, commitment that these guys have right now. Yeah, wh how much involvement do you have with the nickelback position there, too? I know uh, they're all in my room. Okay. Yeah, they're all in my room. And and so that's enabled us to, to do some shuffling around, so to speak. We moved Jerron McPherson in there a little bit, and he's played that this week. And we were able to do that kind of seamlessly because he's hearing a lot of the same things that we were coaching to the other nickels that were in there, John Durham and those guys. So, um, you know, we're going to get our best 11 guys out there, however it has to be. How difficult is it for a safety to make that transition to go play nickel? How different is it for them? Well, there, some of the skill sets are very similar. Um, and some of them are, are you're going to end up playing a little bit more man and stuff in that spot. And um, some of our guys do that really well and others don't. Jerome McPherson does that stuff really well. And so we're, uh, it was, it was, Pretty much a seamless transition for him, but um, you know he, he's. I think everybody in that room is dual training right now and learning more than one position. So what it's doing is it's helping us understand globally the concepts that we're doing, and it's making us better. What are the traits that really stood out about Wayne that helped him kind of grab a hold of? He's just guys? a natural football player. He just gets the game. I mean, he's just really smooth. He's a great communicator. So guys that are on the field with him feel really comfortable because he's talking about what's going on. Um, you know, he, it's hard to make. It's hard to fool him. You know, he's not going to make the same mistake twice. Just a really natural, smooth dude. I mean, that's just that's fun. Have you seen more rapid improvement now that these guys have a spring under them at least to kind of know what you're what you're wanting out of them? You know, what's it, what's exciting about this team is we're going to get better every week of the year. We will. I mean, we're going to be a better football team week ten than we will, than we are will be week one. There's no question in my mind. We won't plateau. Uh, just in the seven practices that we've had now. Practice seven is a mile ahead of where practice one was, and practice one was a mile ahead of where practice 15 was in the spring. And so we're just going to continue to get better and better, and the more these guys understand the concepts, the more they can play fast, you, you're going to see it. It's going to be noticeable. As a defensive coach, I guess I don't know how much you get a chance to see the offense, but have there been guys offensively that have stood out when they've gone up against your guys or whoever on the defense? Yeah, sure. I mean, we're, we're really excited about the, the tailbacks, you know, James and Jordan. The, the, uh, you know, they're new guys, so we didn't know a ton about them, but uh, feel feel good about where they are. Offensive line's been very solid. We've got some very talented young receivers. Um, Josh Youngblood, Chris Heron. These guys are going to be guys at uh, K State Nation is going to be hearing a lot about in the future.